All right, we are here at Omaha Beach. Yes, Omaha Beach, which is a lot. Well, first, I mean, first few observations. First one is that holy crap, they had to run a long ways from when they actually got to the shores up to the cliffs over here. I mean, I think she described it as three to four hundred yards. Pretty much just being wide up. see over there, I doubt you can see it, but those people are up on kind of the monument up there. They still have an actual like, gun in there, I, just pretty much a massive cannon. So it's kind of cool to see up close. Um, but apparently this is the area where it was the bloodiest area of the, of the entire battle of D-Day, where apparently 3,000 Americans about died right in this, this very section of the beach. So apparently that was the bloodiest of all the area we did. But uh, you can probably imagine why with the, uh, the cliffs over here, which they apparently, have, what I think we're going to learn about next, is that they actually had battalions, actually had to scale those cliffs and get up there. So that was, uh, that'd be a hell of a challenge, I'm sure. So, um, pretty beautiful out here. Not really what I expected. I guess I just didn't envision it with a crap load of kids and stuff running around and everything else, but what can you expect? I also didn't expect that there so many French people to close on, but I guess this is one of those places where they don't have the choice. Yeah, they could at least make it a topless beach. Yeah, yeah, so, but, um, yeah, I could, I could imagine it would have been a hell of a, hell of a challenge to, it, to storm this beach and climb those cliffs and everything else safely, so, pretty interesting. We should point out, if you're American, uh, this is not in Nebraska. for a point or something like that where I think they're going to talk about a battalion that had, had to scale the cliffs to get up to the very top or something like Might that. be those cliffs over there. It may very well be those cliffs right there or else perhaps that point off in the distance. Yeah. But, uh, should be good. Pretty amazing, I guess, when you realize, I think you just, when you hear the beaches in Normandy, I think you don't imagine how massive of an area they cover and how many miles and miles and miles between the U.S. and the British and the Canadians that they actually invaded at the same time and how much of a collaboration it was. So I'm kind of interested to look, just look down the shores and see how far, how far and how long it really goes. So. All right, well, signing off for now. Adios.